Today we are going to be doing TX whiskey, so from Texas, you can guess that by the TX. <laughs> right there. Yeah, this is real sleek looking. Yeah. yeah. Caps are different than nice, I've ever seen. Nice little uh, touch yeah. to it, so. From Mine do too. <laughs> Mow them on. Ooh, I get Ooh, it. Ooh, man, that is a fair yeah. sh uh, sherry forward. Enough of a bite. That's definitely a lower proof. Mm -hmm. When I say lower proof, I'm saying lower than cash strength. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty freaking good, man. That is really good. I'm digging that. Right? You're doing something special here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everything's bigger in Alaska. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, including the people. <laughs> <laughs> Hey folks, welcome to another episode of AK Tap Room. Today we are going to be doing viewer sent in whiskey. This is actually the last of the ones that got sent to us are TX whiskey. So from Texas, you can guess that by TX. <laughs> Dead so, giveaway. Yeah. What do we got here, Josh? That is a sherry finish. Yeah. Your TX sherry finish. That PX, that sounds awesome. It's got that nice color hue to it. Yeah, nice and, and then dark. I think this one is, what is this one? Just straight bourbon? Texas bourbon. Yeah, it's just whiskey. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah. we've never had an offering, or I should say I've never had an offering yeah. from this uh, distillery. Have you guys? No. no. New, no. new so. to us, so you're gonna experience it with us. Yes. Uh, shout out to the subscriber that sent us Absolutely. these gifts. Right. We really yeah, appreciate it. You That's guys can tell. Ooh, which yeah. one's the sherry finished and which one's the... Uh... Grab your two. So just a quick note here. Uh, these are both finished four years, aged four years, I should say. Yeah. It's, they're primarily, is it, it's wheat, corn, well, corn, wheat, and barley made in Texas. And they use the fermentation from the pecans in Texas to uh, utilize that. I, I thought oh, that was sweet. a cool that little... Cool. Uh, little twist. Little, yeah, their tidbit. Own, their own signature. Exactly. If you want any other information, you're going to have to Google it. Yeah, so that's cool. I like that they give you a little bit of information. Bottled September 2020. Looks like a nice Things bottle. Like yeah, it has like a little leather. And they, yeah, we were talking about the cork. caps. The cork's right there. Yeah, this is real sleek looking. Yeah. yeah. Caps are different than nice, I've ever seen. Nice little uh, touch yeah. to it. So, uh, which one do you guys want to go uh, in on first? I'm going to nose the straight, yeah, the Kentucky straight bourbon first. The lighter or one. Texas straight bourbon. Yeah, not Kentucky, <laughs> Texas. Good catch. Good catch. Ooh, that. Wow. Okay. Man, so it's been two, two weeks for me of not having anything Ooh, to drink. So fresh. 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 He's jonesing. He was shaking before he got yeah. out of his head. <laughs> so I smell that corn. Yeah, I was going to say, I smell, smell that, that right corn. away. That corn right, right away. Right. right. Get that, that uh, vanilla. Cinnamon. Ooh, yeah, cinnamon. Spicy. Nice. All right, that smells good. It does. All right, moving on to the next one. Sherry. I can smell like grass now from Mine do too. <laughs> mowing lawn. Ooh, I get Ooh, the, man, ooh. that is a fair sh yeah. uh, sherry forward. You get fig, you get yeah. wood. It's got like a chocolate, yeah. mm -hmm. like Cherry. cocoa or something. Smell. Yeah, like a dry mm -hmm. sweetness, like a mm -hmm. dry cocoa. Oh, yeah. That's that the whole point. Good. I think this one, Ooh. if I'm correct, was like aged that. or finished, was eight months in that uh, PX, that sherry cast. Yeah, and they don't have to finish as long because they're, no. they got such a, you know, warm, they're in a warmer climate, mm -hmm. they're in Texas, so. Exactly. It's a, it's nice heat. I think this, traction. they out of Fort Worth? Yeah, I believe so, Fort Worth, Texas. Fort Worth, I think it's on the back right there. Fort Worth, Probably. Texas, yep. Fort yeah. Worth, it, right Where's on the back of it, Fort Worth, Texas. They are, so. Also, I kind of dig this bottle, the look of this bottle better yeah. with the, uh, mm -hmm. Paper. Yeah, it looks sleek. Paper labeling. Looks sleek. All right, what are we gonna do? Let's go in just how we started. Let's go in. Straight bourbon. Straight bourbon. Ooh. God, that corn is right away. Oh yeah, that's good. Yeah, so I get some sweetness. I do get that sweetness. It's yeah, like it's that, spicy. That vanilla. Yeah, that vanilla, that sweetness. Mm -hmm. That just caramel. Enough, enough of a bite. That's definitely a lower proof. Mm -hmm. When I say lower proof, I'm saying lower than cash strength. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got a little spoiled on our, yeah. our high proofs. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that's that's not bad though. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that second entry was nice too. So yeah, that Perico, that's there. an easy, mm -hmm. like it's not burning you out with like the, like the alcohol. Or the spice or the on the spice. back. Yeah. Mm. It's not overpowering. 
That's an easy that's trigger. A, this, that's definitely one that you can start someone out with. Absolutely. So that's good. No. So far, uh, it's looking good for this yeah. distillery. I What's, dig that. That's a nice, smooth, yeah. smooth sweetness. Let's All move right. on. Moving on. So this one's a little hotter. I think that bourbon was a 90 proofer. Okay, and this one is coming in. Uh, 101. 101. You're talking my language. Sherry finish. Yeah. God, it smells good. Yummy. Figs, cherries, dark cherries. So I get dark cherry mm. right away. A little bit of uh, wow, that's really almost good. getting some graham cracker towards it after that. I don't know. It's if like it's a like walnut. Sweet, yeah, sweetness. Mm -hmm. Oh man, kind of, like kind of. That's different. I need to get another. Chocolatey. Yeah. Wash the mouth a little bit with this one. And get the what's second uh, one. left? What's left in my palate is like a walnut taste. A very pleasant walnut. <laughs> so I'll leave you a walnut. Yeah. <laughs> pass. Yeah. Pass. Hard pass. Hard pass. Sorry. Oh, man. I didn't even want to say it. <laughs> Did you say a fig? Yeah, it's yeah. very figgy. Fig Newton. Yep. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's good. I like yeah. that. Impressive for four years eight and months eight months. Year. Yep, impressive. I really like that. Yeah, that sure. is good. And yeah. it's not hot either for even 101. Like if I took a wild turkey 101 next to this, mm -hmm. just for proof's sake, proofing it. That's pretty freaking good, man. That is really good. I'm digging that. Right? You're doing something special here. Yeah, I'm actually kind of surprised. I don't know why, I think when I looked at, I seen this bottle and it was 90 proof, I was like, ah, oh. hmm. it didn't really interest me too much, but that one, that bottle definitely did because I'm just going off a of look and proof. Mm -hmm. Usually if it's bottled in bond or a high proof, it's like got my eye and I'm, mm -hmm. you know, looking at buying it. Oh man. Yeah, That's I heard uh, somebody was comparing this to a Macallan 12. Similarities and oh, taste. This is very, so, very good. I like. I will that. say it kind of makes me want to Jones for a Scotch now. Yeah, to in hop on over to the Scotch. Yeah, it'd be nice in a lineup of uh, other share bombs. Yeah, to kind of throw you off. Exactly. Mm -hmm. as a yeah, well, that one, yeah. Because if you went from Scotches to this, you would know. Mm -hmm. I don't know vice versa. Like if you went from this to a Scotch, but it's got a pleasant aftertaste. The it mouth uh, feel on that is really nice. Um, it's it's very pleasant. So yeah, I'm digging this one. This one's got a very nice. And, and what I didn't not dig the other one. This one's just a little bit more interesting. I tend to go to the sherry bombs anyways. Yeah. High proof, higher proof sherry bombs and things like that. So yeah. this is speaking my language right here. If and you get some a chance, of those, go so, check it out. Yeah, and some of those finished whiskeys can be hit or miss. Like absolutely. You know, sometimes it's a dud. Mm -hmm. You know, and and that also plays on the cask or how they cast it. The exactly, quality. and the seasoning, or the yeah. seasons that play in that area, because sometimes if you have a predominantly hot area that uh, fluctuates with uh, climate and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I mean, we get crazy weather that flip-flops and changes, and it all helps yeah. to do with that expansion and contraction. Yeah, I mean, just to give you a thought, like look at Canadian whiskeys, like, I have that one that's a 20-year Canadian whiskey. Yeah. It takes 20 years to make a decent whiskey in Canada because it's so cold. So, you know, so yeah. they can do it in, in no time, mm. a quarter of the time, you know. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm digging this. I don't even know if I want to go back to that. Yeah, hopefully they don't ban that in that Ooh. country. Yeah, that's, that's good. So overall, I'd say they're doing some great things there. Definitely worth checking out. Yeah. I appreciate the fan that sent this to us. And I Much to, love. Yeah, thank you again. I, we really appreciate it. Because these are all, all the whiskeys you sent us all were ones. all whiskeys at the time. Like, so now we get Balcones in, in Alaska, but when you sent it, we couldn't. There was no, there was no Texas whiskeys. Yep. Yeah. So, Ain't that amazing? Yeah. Now we got, now we got <laughs> yeah. Balcones. I don't think I've ever seen this brand in the state yet. So. Fantastic. Yeah, it is delicious. Yeah. I'm yeah. actually digging it. Absolutely that. appreciate the love that you guys send us out there. So. Yeah, thanks a lot. No, both of these two brands are very impressive. Yeah. I definitely Great to want to get this stuff right here. Yeah, that PX is something special. I'm going to finish that PX and I'll go back to that mm. uh, Kentucky Straight. Mm. Yeah, that is good, man. But yeah, and don't be afraid to get in the comments and let us know what you guys think of this. If you've had either of these or if mm -hmm. if there's another one, if they ever make it to the state, if there's another something from the yeah. TX that we need we to try. Should, yeah, yeah. we need to search out or pick or buy on site, you know? Absolutely. Yeah, and I want to say these aren't even that like pricey either. I want to say they were like in the 50 and under, you know, when I found them online. Okay. Be yeah. nice to do a comparison, get some other distillers. Yeah. You know? 
Yeah, yeah Texas is doing a lot of things, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They're going to be like the new capital of the world. Yeah, new hub, you know? man. Absolutely. Yeah. So Making great, moves. Great stuff. You know, you got Austin, where mm -hmm. all the hippies live. <laughs> good food, you know. But we got good food there. Yeah, a bunch of stuff. <laughs> they got a, distilleries, too. They got tons of distilleries. You still can own guns. Yeah. So, you know, they're doing great things in Texas as far as that goes. And plate, a lot of businesses are taking note and moving yeah. there. Absolutely. So you can expect things, great things from Texas, as always. They mm -hmm. put their stamp on things, and this says no different. They put their stamp on it, uniquely Texas. It's yeah. got a great flavor. But not everything's bigger in Texas, so. <laughs> you fit like 14 of your states in Alaska. Yeah, Fort Worth kind of big. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> everything's bigger in Alaska. Yeah. Everything. Yeah, including the people. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, this is fun. Absolutely. Since this is not our traditional review, yeah. we'll go ahead and end it like that. Yeah, we're not going to rate these. You can tell by our our reactions to drinking these. These were all just corked mm -hmm. right before the video when we poured out the glasses. You can tell from our reactions that we actually enjoy these Absolutely. and are impressed with them. So, yeah, with that, we can shut her down, huh? Folks, thank you for reviewing another episode of AK Tap Room. I'm Murdoch tapping out. I'm Josh tapping out. And I'm Brent tapping out. Don't Til forget to like, subscribe, hit that follow button, and tell your friends. Yes. Till next time, we shall see you soon. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers.